time to say goodbye to Bangalore. <laughs> So I've heard quite a lot of things about flying on the Indian low-cost airline at SpiceJet, mainly from loads of Indian people who have messaged me telling me that it's the worst airline ever and that I should never fly with them, but also the fact that the other day they crashed a plane into a lamppost. Yeah, um, so it's going to be a fun day today as we fly on SpiceJet um, across India. Uh, no, they're in, they're in here. Just power banks in my hand baggage. <laughs> I learned my lesson before. <laughs> you purchase for second row, right? Darbanga to Delhi. Yes. For the max seat, like yes. the premium seats okay. of first row. Yes. In this flight also we have first row, sir. Right, if okay. Want, if you want, you can upgrade yourself. Uh, no, it's okay. As long as I keep the window, I'm, I'm alright, thank you. Yes. You have blocked, uh, you have block 4A. 4A, yes. Okay, that's in window seat. Yes. I have it in first row. Okay, because I, you can stretch out your leg as well in case if you want more. It, it's okay, yeah, wait, as long I as I keep a window. Thank you. Window. I'll keep yeah. a window. Thank you. So, so you have booked only for uh, uh, Bangalore Darbanga. Bangalore Darbanga. You have, for block, you have purchased S Max seats. Yes. But for second sector, you have not purchased. Yes, okay, that's fine. Can I, can I, uh, should I give you a front row as well for that? So we will charge 1200 rupees for that. Uh, Sorry, no. 1300? No, it's okay, thank you. It's okay? Right, yes, it's okay, thank you. So second sector, what seat uh, you have blocked? Yes, yeah, so I have 4A to Darbanga and then 4F for Delhi. Yes. Yeah. Sir, actually, you purchased a seat of second sector. Right. I'm sorry? You purchase the seat in second, means like Tarmaga to Delhi, you purchase the seat and uh, non-wage meals, right? I think so, I don't know, I'm confused. If you made payment for 525 the balance amount, you will get uh, max seat again in the Tarmaga to Delhi, first row song. Uh, okay, I'm alright, thank you, with, with four, yeah, thank you. Gate okay, number 23. Lovely, thank you very much. Have a nice flight. Thank you, bye bye. Thank you. Good lord, I thought why on air would Ballet trying to charge you for extras, but she was really on a hard sell today, wasn't she? Um, checked in anyway um, for my flight. I've still, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'll explain in a minute. I've not had a good time with Spice Jet so far, and um, we're not even on the plane yet, but um, yeah. So my spice jet experience today has not been that great, I have to be honest. Um, booking has been an absolute nightmare for this. The website is just awfully breaks constantly, so you get halfway through booking and then it'll like lock you out and you won't be able to do anything. I've actually been charged three times for this flight and I didn't get any, you know, because the website broke halfway through booking each time. Just didn't get anything through for about three days from them for the other two tickets that um, I bought with SpiceJet. So naturally assuming that they've um, not gone through and then now um, this morning I've not only received my e-ticket for this flight but I've also received the other two e-tickets for the other two flights that um, I obviously ended up booking despite the website having broken. So great, so there's um, some chargebacks coming up from the credit cards. Um, so not a great start so far, the technology is just dreadful with spice jet the website just doesn't seem to work at all um which is a bit of a shame really for an airline that does everything on the website it's you can't normally check in at the check-in counters um obviously you, you can drop your bag there but you're not allowed to check in there without paying an extra fee um but obviously the online check-in doesn't really work either so uh, it's just been horrendous but never mind I've got my boarding pass now, a paper one, so hopefully that's going to work. Um, and I'm taking my flight today with them up to Delhi um, in the northwest of India, but with a stopover on the way at another airport that I'm not entirely sure where this place is. It's a place called Darbanga, um, which I think it's in the north of India somewhere. I had a quick look on the map, it's somewhere up towards the north. Um, know nothing about this place whatsoever other than the fact that SpiceJet operate through there to get to Delhi um, unless you want to leave at five o'clock in the morning which I don't particularly fancy so um, so yeah today connecting up through Darbanga to go to Delhi I 
have paid extra for priority boarding on this flight, so let's see if I actually get it. Well, that was another waste of money, wasn't it? Never mind, on the bus now, heading over to the plane. <sighs> All right, so on board um, with no priority boarding, but it's not too bad, really. In the end, um, made it on board the Spice Jet 737-800. Um, it appears we're on today, so um, yeah, it's a bit battered, a bit beaten up. I mean, it doesn't look in the greatest condition on the outside, and um, oh, we drop that. Um, it doesn't look on the greatest condition on the inside really either um no crew to greet you at the door of course i don't know where they are um but i've got on board took my seat and um yeah we'll be getting on our way hopefully in the next few minutes <laughs> all right taxiing out we haven't had any lampposts yet so we're doing all right so far This flight today then took me north from Bangalore to the town of Darbanger. Flight time for this leg was 2 hours and 15 minutes, cruising at 37,000 feet. Alright, so airborne out of Bangalore saying goodbye to the hot part of the country, as well, the hotter part of um, India down in the south, and we're heading up north now to Darbanger. Um, I've actually bought a meal for this flight. You, when you buy your flight, you can order a cooked meal as well. Um, and it's cost me £3.75 for a cooked breakfast today, which isn't too bad. We'll see what that's like in a minute. But um, yeah, not too bad. We took off on time anyway, that was nice. And we didn't hit any lamp posts on the way out, so that's all very good. So um, yeah, hopefully, another couple of hours we'll be up in um, Darbanger. But in the meantime, let's have some breakfast, see what it's like. Right, so I have gone for the omelette, and it comes with chicken sausages and a hash brown. And um, it's a little beige, as far as Indian cuisine goes. It's not very colourful, but hey, it's okay. It's something to eat, isn't it? So I'm going to have a nibble on my sausage. It's not too bad, the sausages go. Um, am I the only one, by the way, who finds it odd that on a commercial flight you'd have adverts for life insurance? <laughs> it's not a very good sign, is it? <laughs> it's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review. Someone's been in here already. Um, time for a Spice Jet Lou review. Um, spicy food's clearly been on the menu today for some people. Um, yeah, it's um, a tiny little 737 bathroom. There's water all over the floor, or at least I think that's water. Um, I learned my lesson a long time ago, by the way. You always wear shoes in an aeroplane bathroom because um, it ain't water. Um, but yeah, um, we've got a sink, we've got a mirror. Mm -hmm. 
We've got a broken light fitting. And I don't know what else we've got, not a lot really. Just a dirty old 737 bathroom. Um, it's not the best, but never mind. It'll do for a two hour flight um, on the way up to Darbanger. Darbanger um, in the north of India. Right. So back to my seat. <laughs> that was the Noel Phillips Lou Review. Ha! Ah, what a stinker! Right then, we've started our descent down into our first stop of the day. Alright, so we've landed at this tiny little airport um, in the middle of nowhere, it seems, in northern India. So I'm not entirely sure what is here, but um, it's a place called Darbanger. Um, the plane's parked on the other side of the airport to the actual terminal building, and you have to get on a bus right the way around the airport. It's this really crowded little building here. Um, and there's no transfer lane at all, of course, for such a tiny airport, so I've got to go back through security again now. Alright, so this is the SpiceJet transfer passenger experience. Um, at airports like this, you kind of land and then you've got to sit outside now in the heat. Um, the terminal's not big enough for everybody, so I've got to wait out here in the hot air. It's like 32 degrees, it's very hot. <sighs> but never mind, it's only three hours to wait until the flight. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not quite sure I fancy the sound of those sorts of snacks. Not today, anyway. Thank you to this week's video sponsor, Manscaped, who have very kindly provided me with the Performance Package 4.0, the highlight of which being the Lawnmower 4.0. Look at this. Ha 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 ha. It's um, a, um, a travel trimmer thing for um, trimming up yourself while you are traveling and even when you're not, really. It's really cool. It's got ceramic blades and it's got this advanced skin safe technology. So even in the most delicate of areas, you are going to be pretty safe. And um, also in the performance package 4.0, you get two products that I never knew I needed. You get the crop preserver, which is a deodorant and nice smelling spray for um, areas of your body. And um, a crop reviver which is a toner for those same areas go to manscape.com and get 20 percent off plus free international shipping plus those two fantastic free gifts when you use promo code phillips at checkout and manscaped will always make sure you've got the right tools for the job thank you thank you, thank you. Now don't get me wrong, as transit experiences go, I think I've had better experiences than this before. I mean, let's be honest, there's no kind of Doha or Dubai or anywhere, is it? <laughs> here at Darbanger in India. I think the terminal's only been open here for like a year, believe it or not. I mean, the state of this place has only been open for a year. Good Lord, imagine what it's gonna be like in a few years time. Um, but it's just a crazy, crazy busy little sort of prefabricated building really um, in the middle of nowhere and um, it's where you transfer spice jet flights clearly so um, yeah <sighs> it still beats getting up at 5am for the direct flight I suppose <laughs> right, I've just
just check the flight radar, the plane is on its way from Delhi and trust me it can't get here soon enough, it's so hot in here, coated in flies as well, um, it's just crazy, crazy chaos here, a bit door banger, um, but we'll be on our way very soon hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the plane will be here in about half an hour and then we can hopefully get on board and get in some fresh air, hopefully we'll get into the air conditioning hopefully anyway at least. See if we get priority boarding on this one. All right, so another outside waiting area here, um, as you can see. Everybody's sort of waiting for the bus to turn up now to take us across the airport to where the planes are. So um, interesting. He reminds me of waiting at Mansfield bus station for the 53. Apart from the weather, wish it were this warm at home. Although maybe I don't. Not not meant for this heat, really. Right then, on board flight number two with SpiceJet today. Um, another battered old 737-800. This one's like 12, 13 years old. It was originally with Jet Airways, I believe, um, previously, and it's now with um, SpiceJet. Um, and yeah, finally on board, a bit of fresh air, or cold air, should I say, from the air conditioning. That's quite nice, um, finally. After the chaos of that little tiny porter cabin thing, that is the terminal building here at Darbanger. Hopefully not long and we'll be on our way to Delhi. About an hour and 20 minutes, I think, flight time over to Delhi. So, um, yeah. My next flight today then took me west from Darbanger across to Delhi. Flight time on this leg, one hour and 34 minutes, cruising at 36,000 feet. So then airborne on leg two with SpiceJet today, taking off from Darbanger now, heading across India to Delhi. Um, and sounds like they're going to start talking. Heading to Delhi and um, oh. all right. Finally, if I can get a word in edgeways, um, <laughs> so on board the second spice air flight of the day out of Darbanger. Um, this aircraft's not quite as nice as the other one, although the other one wasn't that nice either. But this is not as nice as the other not nice one. Um, not much leg room back here. Um, in row four, a bit more old and battered. Obviously, the, um, the top there, the old um, air vent thing doesn't work properly. It's kind of broken and loose. But never mind. It's about an hour's ride, I think, across to Delhi today. Um, I'll hopefully, soon get in a bite to eat because I've ordered a meal on this flight as well. So um, we'll see if that turns up in a minute. All right. So my food's turned up. Gone for the chili chicken. Let's see what this is like. This was another. £3.75 deal off the um, website when I booked. Doesn't look too bad, does it, that? I kind of coke with it as well, so um, see what it tastes like is more the most important thing, I suppose. A 
I mean, it's only lukewarm, but it's all right. Quite spicy, though. Though it's chilli chicken. What was I expecting? But no, it's all right. Quite nice. So then started our descent down into Delhi. Um, or we will be in the next few minutes at least. And um, spiced yet? Yeah, well, I have to say I'm not a massive fan based on my experience today. Um, the fact that I got charged three times for the same ticket is not acceptable at all. Um, and the fact that I ended up with three tickets as a result of their website just not working um, is not great. And I really hope I get my money back for those. Um, I don't know at the moment if I will, but by the time I release this video, hopefully I will. And I will let you know at the end of the video video if I do actually end up getting that back. Um, the customer service from SpiceJet obviously has been terrible. Um, their messages go unanswered, they never answer the phone or anything, so that's been terrible really trying to get in touch with anybody. Um, so all in all, not a very good experience um, dealing with SpiceJet really. The aircraft, well, they've all been very well used in a very battered condition. Um, and that trip today with them has been an absolutely horrible slog across India connecting in that tiny little um, airport although I don't know whether you can call it an airport it's more like a cattle pen down at um, Darbanger is just not a pleasant experience at all really did not enjoy that um, there are direct flights with Spicejet from Bangalore to Delhi but they leave at like 5 in the morning or something stupid it's ridiculous so if you want to get an actual daylight flight then that's what you've got to do um, on that route not a great option really um, and all in all I mean there's far better options here in India I've flown on quite a few domestic airlines here in India now um, and to be honest they are all miles ahead of Spicejet um, and what they've offered me on this um, couple of flights today so um, yeah unfortunately it's a thumbs down from me for Spicejet um, and I certainly don't intend to be flying with them again anytime soon I'll tell you that <laughs> to Delhi today cost me £133.97 or around about $165 US dollars, as did my second ticket caused by the website outage, and, and the third as well, making a total cost of £401.91 or 25 pence per mile. And nope, Spicejet still haven't refunded my extra tickets, or in fact even acknowledged any of the emails, social media messages or WhatsApp messages I've sent them, or indeed even picked up the phone on any of the many occasions I've tried calling them, so um, yeah, instead I have two credit card chargebacks in progress at the moment in the hope that I will at least be able to get some of my money back. We may have landed on time, but um, it seems that they can't find a spare gate for us to go and park on, so... Um it may be a while yet. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. Thank you. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, Zoom calls with me, and much, much more. Oh, 20 minutes late, we pull on to stand, never mind. <laughs> so much for that on time arrival, eh? <sighs> this could take a while. <sighs> Looks like there's a flight already coming off, it's not mine. Alright, so I've been waiting for my bag now for about mm, three quarters of an hour. The bags of half flight have just started to come through now, but um, now it's stopped again, so I've no, no idea how long we're going to be waiting for these. Oh, we've finally got some bags. Let's see if mine is one of them. Hey, finally got my bag. An hour later, and I can leave the airport. Woohoo! Delhi again, um, finally. 
after my little adventure with Spice Jet. Um, yeah, um, let me know what you thought to Spice Jet down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, <laughs> it wasn't the greatest, was it? Um, never mind. But we're now, I mean, what time is it now? Two hours after we touched down um, in Delhi. Um, we touched down literally on the runway, which is outside my window. Um, two hours later, I'm in my room. So um, yeah, that was an exciting day, wasn't it? Um, I don't have any intentions of repeating that anytime soon, but let me know down in the comments as always what you thought to Spice Jet, the Indian low cost airline. Right, I'm off to try and get some sleep. I think I've deserved it after today. And I might even grab a beer before I do that as well. Um, I definitely think I've deserved that. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Take care. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.